finally here. Christmas Eve Eve. This afternoon, Christmas Eve worship will begin the 23rd, and tomorrow there will be over 13 services between the 23rd and Christmas Day. Can you really believe that it's already here? Man, the month of December has flown by. I want to share with you a few scriptures about our antiphon that we just heard today. First, from Isaiah 7, that great promise that the virgin will give birth to a child. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, ask for a confirming sign from the Lord your God. You can even ask for something miraculous. But Ahaz responded, I don't want to ask. I don't want to put the Lord to the test. So Isaiah replied, Pay attention, family of David. Do you consider it too insignificant to try the patience of men? Is that why you are also trying the patience of my God? For this reason, the Lord himself will give you a confirming sign. Look, this young woman, this virgin, is about to conceive and will give birth to a son. You will name him Emmanuel. He will eat sour milk and honey, which will help him know how to reject evil and choose what is right. And then second, Isaiah 33. You will see a king in splendor. You will see a wide land. Your mind will recall the terror you experienced, and then you will ask yourselves, where is the scribe? Where is the one who weighs the money? Where is the one who counts the towers? And you will no longer see a defiant people whose language you cannot comprehend, whose divisive speech you do not understand. Look at Zion, the city where we hold religious festivals. You will see Jerusalem, a peaceful sediment, a tent that stays put. Its stakes will never be pulled up. None of its ropes will snap in two. Instead, the Lord will rule there as our mighty king. Rivers and wide streams will flow through it. No war galley will enter, no large ships will sail through. For the Lord, our ruler, the Lord, our commander, the Lord, our king, he will deliver us. Though at this time your ropes are slack, the mast is not secured, and the sail is not unfurled. At that time you will divide up a great quantity of loot. Even the lame will drag off plunder. No resident of Zion will say, I am ill. The people who live there will have their sin forgiven. We spent the last seven days with the great O Antiphons. And I'd like to know which one was your favorite. Which one spoke to you the most, brought you the most comfort, the most peace, the most hope in this Advent season? Maybe leave a comment below with your answer for that. And I can almost guarantee that we all liked one different For a different reason. You know, that's the power of the Word of God, that it's living and active, that He speaks to each of us differently, how we need it. Today we come to the end of our journey with the O Antiphons, with that familiar antiphon that we hear in the hymn in our hymnal O come, O come, Emmanuel. That Advent phrase, if you've noticed through each one of these antiphons is present. Come and save us, O Lord our God. Each one of the antiphons has asked God to come in some sort of way. And so we pray in this antiphon that God would come himself, that God with us would come again. This weekend we spent a little bit of time in Bible study looking at, thinking about, talking with each other about that exact phrase, Emmanuel, God with us, and how wonderful, how important that phrase is. What does it mean to you that God is with us, that he is Emmanuel? Maybe it brings hope for you for today because God is with us, but hope also for tomorrow. Hope that God would return, that Jesus would come back again to make everything right, to end this suffering that we see around us. 
But maybe it's just you're thankful for what it is not, for what Emmanuel, God with us, isn't. It's not God with, not with us. Instead, God is with us. Wherever you are today, we pray and we ask God to come, that he would be with us today, even now. This is what Christmas is all about, the coming of Christ, God with us today, tomorrow, and always. Please pray with me. Jesus, we look forward so much to the celebration of your first coming, the end of Advent, the celebration of Christmas that will begin here. But Lord, we also so long that you would return, that you would come and save us now, that you would once again be God with us. So we pray today, whatever we do this day, we pray that you would be with us, that you would come among us, that your presence would be made known here. Ready our hearts and our minds for our Christmas worship, for our Christmas praise of you. Above all things, in all things, through all things, Jesus, give us faith. Give us trust more than anything else in you that you have come and that you will come again. In your name we pray. Amen. The Lord be with you this day and your Christmas worship. Whenever we see you, may God bless you this day.